It is definitely a snow day, everybody. <laughs> Good morning. Thanks for watching the Vine. A snow day across central Arkansas. Mandy Yeager, myself, Rob Evans. We're stuck here <laughs> at the station. Literally, you tried we're, to get out. I Couldn't tried. Do to, it. I tried to go just down to get something to eat. I went to one place, the restaurant. I mean, less than a mile down the road, right? Got. I'm an all-wheel drive SUV. Got stuck trying to get up the hill. Uh, went to a try to get another one, which is right next door. It got stuck. Had to have a nice viewer push me out. Thank you so very much. Got to the station half a mile away. Couldn't get into the parking lot. Got stuck on the side of the road. Had to oh, dig, dig out my side. Now I'm on the side of the road somewhere. Anyway, we're going to check in with <laughs> Ashley King, who knows better and is staying at home in just a little bit. Yes. There she is right there. <laughs> well, Ashley, I know uh, you're probably <laughs> a bit cold right now. I know a lot of kids and families were hoping to see some snow. So what are you seeing where you are? This is it. We have a lot of snow here. I'm in my backyard right now. I came to, to check it out. There are some really big flakes that are actually falling right now. I know that, you know, I was listening throughout the morning as Scott was talking about some of the heaviest snowfall that we were going to get would be around this time. And we're going to get an update from him in just a little bit. But I've been out here letting my dogs play. They have been having a ball. I'm going to show you some video of that here in just a bit. But yeah, Rob, you better stay where you are. I mean, our hotel is like a mile and a half away. We all got hotel rooms. Mm -hmm. and only one of us has a Jeep. Looks like Scott, Scott might be a... In a minute, we're going to talk to him because he, he's going he, he's gonna to be the one that uh, hopefully can take it there. Hey, we want to see more of your pictures, your snow pictures, 501-376-1111. Yes. And we're going to be showing those all morning long. We've got a lot of them, haven't we? We've got, I mean, during the morning show, there were over 400 pictures sent in from people just texting us and they're mm -hmm. fun, you know, some of their pets or their kids right. or their yard. And we love to see it. Uh, we love seeing all of your photos. It helps give everybody else in the state too a look at what's happening around the yeah. state. And people in Florida can make fun of all of us. It's <laughs> yeah. fine. Uh, you can text again. Weather also to 501-376-1111. If you have all the questions that you uh, have about the weather, uh, of course, you know, the kids right now, a lot of the kids are out playing in the snow, including Scott. We sent Scott out to go play in the snow without a jacket or gloves. <laughs> or what are you doing bit. out there? Well, also, let's. Uh, I need to tell you, I forgot my key inside, oh. so I'm going to beg for mercy. And here's why, Rob. Here's the thing. I'm coming. You <laughs> did not take anyone else's order when you tried to go get us some breakfast, and so for that, I'm upset with you. If you'll let me back inside, we'll consider it even. Don't you throw that snowball at me. Ah. All right, let's take a look at Doppler radar. That's going to tell us everything we need to know. We're continuing to see moderate, even heavy snowfall moving through Pulaski County right now. You take a look at those oranges, those yellows moving through northern parts of Pulaski, moving into Faulkner, uh, Lone Oak counties, getting in on some of those heavier snow showers. But notice just off to the west, we're starting to see some clearing the backside of this system right here. So Mount Ida, Waldron, Glenwood, Murfreesboro, you're probably done with the snow for today. You're not in East Arkansas. Saw Gillette Star City sink some of those heavier snow bands and could be even mixing in with a bit of sleet at times. Take a look at what we've seen thus far. Preliminary numbers Garland County, Percy picking up eight inches of snow on top of Petty Jean Mountain, seven and a half inches of snow. Pulaski County over in Maumel, about six inches thus far, with a little bit more to go before we see this come to an end. Future radar taking us into the future, showing that activity starting to dwindle down and taper off as we go into the afternoon, affecting portions of northeast Arkansas throughout the early parts of today. We are going to see mostly cloudy skies. Eventually, those clouds start to break up, and that's going to allow temperatures tonight to drop really cold. Nine degrees is the current temperature here in Little Rock, but it feels like it's negative too. These temperatures are frigid cold now, but they're going to get even colder. In fact, tonight overnight, we're likely to shatter the record set back in 1900 of 14 degrees. Our overnight low temperature here 
one degree. That's my forecast. But with winds that aren't going to die down any at all right out of the north, it's likely to feel like we're in the negatives. Really, most of the day, take a look at this. 14 is the high temperature for today. But those wind chill values are going to be hovering right around zero or slightly under. We do have wind chill advisories in effect through tomorrow morning due to the fact that we're likely to see wind chills anywhere from zero to negative 10 in central and south Arkansas. Folks in north central and northwest Arkansas could see overnight low temperatures as low as negative 15 degrees. Now, I know all eyes have been on this event, but here in the Weather Center, we're also tracking what's coming. And as you can see, Wednesday into Thursday, we're likely to see a little bit more snow moving into the area. Nathan and Tom are going to have forecast accumulations for you tonight. I'll tell you, it's shaping up to be uh, measurable. Nonetheless, we could see some more snow on top of this because notice temperatures aren't going to get above freezing before that system gets here. So uh, very likely could see several more inches on top, excuse me, a few more inches on top of what we have now accumulating totally uh, to quite a bit. Uh, meteorologist Corrales Ortiz here in downtown Little Rock. Been here all morning long and in terms of traffic, starting off in the morning wasn't too bad. We just saw a limited amount of cars on the road. Now that we have more people waking up with us, they probably look outside and be like, nope, I'm staying home today. And we actually had uh, an incident reported. If you take a look at our I Drive Arkansas, where there was a car coming in from uh, I-630 trying to go on the ramp into uh, Interstate 30. Uh, going northward and uh, it, there was an accident reported there and there's no surprise of course elevator surfaces anywhere uh, the snow is still piling up on the highways they've tried their best RDOT crews uh, and clearing it out pretty much all morning long and the snow has just been coming down so just rapidly with snowfall rates as high as an inch and a half maybe two inches in some spots especially in southeastern Arkansas that it's been hard for them to catch up really and clearing out all this snow fortunately in this time of age where we've been doing a lot of stuff virtually a lot of people have been able to work from home and unfortunately there's some people who still have to drive on the road so if you do again it's just always better to go slow and steady and that's what we've been kind of seeing all morning long snow still gonna be coming up down this morning eventually becoming a lot lighter into the afternoon but like I mentioned southeastern Arkansas saw quite a bit of some snow I'm actually gonna to toss it over to Michael Aaron who he's been in Pine Bluff this morning and they've been dealing with pretty moderate to heavy snowfall Michael how How's it looking over there? Yeah, Corrales, heavy snowfall at times. I would say right now in the moderate range, like you mentioned, and uh, it's been that way for quite some time now. Let's first, before we get into the snow, talk about just how cold it is here. So cold that some of our equipment, our live equipment actually froze while we were standing out here a little bit earlier. It's all thought out, we're good to go, but it's uh, taking a toll on the electronics. Windshield wipers are frozen. Um, and again, that snow continues to fall. I'm going to step out of the way. This is the uh, East Harding Street right behind me, kind of a main drag here in Pine Bluff, if you will, right here along Interstate 530, the bypass. And the good news so far, we haven't seen really anyone out and about driving. Very few cars out. I just checked in with Pine Bluff, Pine Bluff Police. They tell me that is what they like to see, that they've really not had any major incidents overnight into the morning hours, that uh, most people have been off the roads, and that as a result, they've only worked some minor uh, accidents, some fender benders, that sort of thing. They also want to remind people to just stay home if you can, and that if you do need emergency services, that those response times may be a little bit slower than normal. You do see a few cars coming toward us now here on East Harding, taking it slow and steady here uh, definitely some pretty treacherous driving conditions hard to really see where the curbs are and where um, the obviously you can't see the street lines either so that's the latest here in pine bluff we'll check back in around 9 30 for now though let's send it to jordan howington she is over in saline county hey jordan <laughs> Hey, Michael. Yeah, so when we started our coverage early this morning, around 4.30 this morning, we came in and we started with two inches of snow. Now, if you look down at my feet, my feet are completely covered in this snow along I-30 here in Benton and, uh, Benton and Bryant. We are standing at the Alcoa Exchange, a few cars passing by, but you know, uh, quite frankly, I'm surprised. I'm surprised there's not more people trying to get out and just view what's going on. So uh, people have 
you know, they're heeding the warnings, uh, keeping safe in, <laughs> inside their home, keeping warm. Uh, not many people out, but uh, our dock crews have been out all morning. I mean, I am telling you, it's just been insane how many times we have seen them go back and forth uh, with their equipment, uh, snow plows, uh, getting these interstates passable and uh, safely uh, passable for drivers who have to be out. Uh, I was just on Facebook kind of looking uh, for updates this morning. I uh, came across a post from Arkansas State Police who say uh, they are specifically asking uh, their uh, troopers uh, to drive safely uh, to service calls. And so uh, they are asking you if you don't have to be out, don't get out because it's going to take them extra time to get to you if you end up stranded on one of these interstates or one of these roadways. So it's very important uh, to, if you do get out, one, have a lot of gas, have a full tank of gas in your car. That's the most, th uh, most important thing. And then also have a safety kit with you, a winter weather car safety uh, kit, including uh, maybe uh, an extra car charger, snacks, water, blankets, uh, jumper cables. All of those things are very, very important if you do, again, have to get out on these roadways. Uh, but for now, reporting, rely, or for reporting live, <laughs> super cold out here in Benton, Jordan Howington, THV 11 News.